we have a question here uh, from Connor Thompson. Was the Newcastle Barcelona your favourite match to be a part of? Oh, without a doubt, it was. Uh, you know, it was Newcastle's debut in the Champions League. You know, it's my first game in the Champions League, and to play against Barcelona and to, to have the, you know, the best game that I could ever have imagined. You know, we we obviously beat them three two that night with Tino Espria scoring a hat trick, but. You know, I still go back to Newcastle today, and it's a game that everybody wants to talk about. So, yeah, without a, without a shadow of a doubt. And another question from another fan here, Adrian Logan, uh, <laughs> your great your greatest moment ever in the Northern Ireland shirt. Um, I think just my, my debut. You know, just growing up supporting Northern Ireland, going to games. You know, your debut is, is a is a big thing. But you know, it, actually the games. Then you know, it's very difficult to pick between England and Spain. You know those victories. They were uh, victories that nobody could foresee. You know, I think if you end up getting a draw against countries like that at, at home, it's uh, it's regarded as a victory. But just the the fact that nobody's seen it coming. Um, you know, and for the for, at a time when just everything was going right for Northern Ireland, the the results that we got against some great nations. You know, it was a great period to to be a, to be a Northern Ireland player. I also have to tell you too, it was a great player to be a media man involved with Keith because you're always courteous and a total gentleman and never refused anything. Just wanted the viewers <laughs> to know that. Another question from Paul Gibb. We're not really meant to ask a few, but we may as well get them. Your hardest opponent? Now be careful. Hardest. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stuart Pierce was always very difficult. Um, you know, Forest man. Yes, uh, he would. Uh, you know, you would know he's around. But I mean, I was. I wasn't the sort of, you know, winger who would. Wouldn't be scared to sort of kick them back, so I sort of try and give as good as I got. <laughs> That's right. You're right. You're quite right. Why not? And uh, finally, I've got one here from uh, Kurt McCahey, which is a nice one, a relevant one for us too. Will Northern Ireland qualify for the Euros? I think it's as good a chance as ever now, with the fact that you know the third best team are in the playoffs. You know, I sort of look back and wish that that was the case when I was playing. You know, might have been a chance, but you know, I think the draw was quite favourable. It could have been a lot worse. You know the countries that we have got. You know, Michael's still got a very young squad. You know, still quite inexperienced, quite a lot of them. But you know, as I say, with with it being the third best team in the group going into the playoff now, this this could be the best chance they've had since maybe since we we came close about six or seven years ago. Well, you got 86 cap from Northern Ireland. This is your first cap from McLean's, <laughs> but I can tell you, after that contribution, you'll be getting more in the future. Keith, God That's bless. That's great. Thanks, Adrian. Very nice Cheers. to have you. Thank, Thank you. you.